So where are we off to, Lisa? To laundromat. In the afternoon, Mum had to run some errands. Darren! Matthew! Darren, come here! But getting the kids out of the house proves to be a big battle. Go get your clothes on. No. Get a shirt on now. Go get your shoes on. You're gonna get dressed, Devin. Stop! Finally, we managed to make it to the car, but things didn't get any easier. You got two seconds to get that seatbelt on. I'm throwing this door in the garbage can. No, you're gonna give us get it. Well, once again, it was Devin who drew his sword and it started to kick off all over again. Yeah, you're not getting it out. Enough! Elisa was like, that's it, out the car, we're not going. Let's go, guys. I'm so sick of fighting with them. It sucks. And the decision you've made is what? Not to go anywhere. You never get anything done half the time. I can't believe what I was hearing. This little boy was dictating a whole family and what they were going to do. Guys, let's Evan's go. the boss of this house. However Devin feels is what we decide to do. It really sucks to be controlled by Devin. He's only six, and it sucks that he runs our whole life. You're ready to go now? All right, Devin's ready. Let's go, guys. Well, after waiting around for a while, the king of the castle decided it was time for us to go, and there we were, take two. Devin's ready. Try again. Do not undo. Do not push my face again. Now that is it, Devin. I've had it. Sometimes I feel like pulling my hair out. I was pissed. Stop hitting me. Stop! Smacking Devin obviously wasn't stopping him. We managed to make it out of the driveway, and then within seconds, the boys were at it again. Sit down. <laughs> Don't bite me. We'd only driven two blocks when Lisa had to stop the car to put Devon back in his seatbelt. Just stay there because we're just going home. And unbelievably, Mum drove all the way back home and Devon got his own way. They can't act up right in the car, then we just go home and we don't go anywhere. This was such a big ordeal and they achieved absolutely nothing. You're all going to your room until John comes home. I've had it. It's done. It's over. I'm done. Go to your room. I had enough. It's never ending. It never stops. Hey, Lisa had just had it. And before she was about to throw in the towel, the man of the house walked in. Thank God. It would have been terrible. Devin. Matt. Gary. Straight away, John started barking out those orders. Put the sand down. Put it down. That's enough. Up. John's a little scary. He yells so loud that he sounds like a lion. Oh, get a towel now. Clean it up. It's not funny. What's my novel? This floor is gonna be ruined now. All the water's underneath it. You think that's funny? I don't think it's too funny. I scare them by raising my voice, and they do what they're told. I'm fine with that. Sit down and start eating yeah. the rest of it. <laughs> Sit down. It makes me angry that the boys give John more respect than they give to me because I'm the one that. You know, it's with them all the time. I should be the one that gets the respect, not everybody else. This house is just run on intimidation and aggression. It's not working. Lisa and John just need to find another way in dealing with things. Once in a generation, a story comes along that changes sports cinema forever. Nice shot. Nick Sports All-Star Flicks is proud to present MVP. The incredible story of a chimp who defied the odds. You mean to tell me we got a monkey on our team? The Darwin Times calls it a triumph in Simeon Cinema. The Daily Chimp describes it as... <laughs> and Mandrill and Lemur give it two opposable thumbs up. Don't miss the Nick Sports world premiere of MVP. Part of All-Star Flicks. Wednesday at 9, right here.